Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arun and in today's video I would like to talk about what are the free and paid training materials and certification courses that you will be able to do related to SAP supply chain management. So if you are not aware, I previously made a video about SAP supply chain management. You will be able to find that video in my channel or I will also provide the link to that uh, video in the video description. But I received a lot of comments and people were asking for you know, where they can find more information about some of these training materials that are available for SAP SCM and uh, you know, whether it is free or paid or how much they have to pay and all those sort of questions. So I thought I will make a video about it and provide as much information as possible uh, regarding all these type of questions. Right. So before I start, I'll actually provide some information about the end to end business process that is involved when it comes to SAP supply chain management or just supply chain management in general. So as you can see on the slide, then end-to-end -end supply chain management process consists of multiple steps. So it is design, plan, procure, manufacture, sell, deliver, operate and project management. Now let's take a real example, right? Or like a real world example. For example, uh, say I would like to start a shoe brand shoe business so what would be the first thing I should do so the first thing I should do is design the product I should design using software um, and determine how my shoes should look like um, whether I'm going to make it for women as well as men or just for men and all these type of things right so and then I will have to plan my business so the planning will in involve everything uh, from the type of shoes that I want to make, the type of raw materials I would like to use, where am I going to uh, install my factories, how am I going to you know, hire employees and all those sort of stuff. And then procure the raw materials required to manufacture the shoes and then actually you know, build the factories and start manufacturing the shoes itself and then sell them, sell them to the wholesalers, retailers, distributors, and then deliver those shoes to those wholesalers, retailers and distributors and to the customers, right? So because the, I may want to distribute to different states, different cities, different countries. So I have to deliver those shoes to different uh, locations and then operate the whole business, you know, maintain those assets, maintain the factories, maintain the employees, maintain the raw materials, shoes and all those things. And then the project management, because all these end-to-end -end processes involve multiple projects in between. So we need a project management software to manage all these type of projects. So a typical end-to-end -end supply chain management process will look like this. And there are lots of different types of software products you'll be able to find in the market that can perform um, everything or any of these business processes that are involved in a supply chain management, right? And when it comes to SAP, SAP offers different types of products for the supply chain management processes. So supply chain management is not just one product or one business process, but it contains multiple steps and it involves multiple different types of products within SAP itself. So for example, for design, SAP has got uh, research and development engineering and for plan, it is SAP has got integrated business planning software. For procurement, you'll be able to find S for HANA procurement or ERP procurement, Ariba, uh, supply relationship management, so on and so forth. Right. So. When you want to learn supply chain management, the advice I would provide you is understand the end-to-end -end process of supply chain management, what is involved in each and every step on a high level, but then choose one particular category and under that particular category, choose one software product that you would like to learn because it is impossible to learn everything because it's vast and you know one lifetime may not be enough to learn every single thing that is involved when it comes to end-to-end -end supply chain management. So just learn what is involved from an end-to-end -end perspective, but then choose one category and choose one software product under that category and start learning those ones. Now, when it comes to learning, what are the recommendations when it comes to learning? So this is not just my recommendations, but this is what a lot of people in the industry recommend. So start learning, uh, start learning the basics from the freemiums. So when, it, when I say freemiums, that is the materials that are available in the internet for which you do not have to pay anything for. It could be a YouTube video about, you know, end-to-end -end supply chain management or even 
about a particular one like Isfahana logistics or Isfahana material management, asset management, Ariba, so on and so forth. And you'll be able to find a lot of blogs as well written by subject matter experts in a particular area or even into in business processes. So start with those ones first. And you may want to read some of the books as well. Uh, books are not free. But you might be able to find some books for free, but they may not be relatively that expensive. So um, choose a basic supply chain management book and uh, try to get the basic understanding of what is supply chain management, what is SAP uh, supply chain management, what are the products SAP offers and all those sort of stuff. And then invest in an SAP course. You know, because once you go through the free materials that are available in the internet, you will get an understanding of supply chain management, and it will give you an understanding of what are the what is a particular category you might be interested in, and then choose that category, and choose a SAP course for in that particular category, and enroll in that particular SAP course, and then get certified in that area, and then if you are a you know fresher looking for some jobs. And look for internships, graduate positions or fresher roles offered by companies related to this particular area or field. Um, there are a lot of logistics companies available in the world like DHL, you, you know, uh, FedEx, uh, so many big companies and medium sized companies and small logistics companies as well. And a lot of those companies use SAP. So look for positions, SAP related positions in those type of companies and uh, try to get an internship or you know this type of role so that you can get your foot in and once you're in you'll be able to learn more and grow and develop within the company itself or you'll be able to look for other companies for example that's how i started my job so first i used to work for a mining company in a project management area and but they were using sap and then i started to learn about sap technical installations and stuff like that whenever i found some free time uh, and then I moved into the SAP technical team within the mining company itself and I learned a bit more. Then I moved on to other companies. So you can probably do the same thing uh, if that makes sense for you. So the free and paid SAP courses. So where can you find the free um, SAP courses or blogs and where can you find the paid ones? So the ones that are I mentioned in the green ones or the free ones are the ones that are mentioned in the orange color are the paid ones. So I will actually show you what those ones are. So the first two ones are YouTube videos and blogs. As I mentioned before, there are tons of materials available online. You'll be able to find them. Just keep one thing in mind. Um, you know, some of them might be good and some of them might be bad. Just so just keep that in mind and use your gut feeling to get a basic understanding of you know what's the good material and what's the bad material. So, and then let's take a look at the open SAP courses. Uh, right. So open SAP courses. If you are not aware. This is in like a virtual academy conduct, conducted by SAP themselves, um, and they have, you know, you'll be able to find a lot of courses related to a lot of different types of SAP products, as well as SAP business processes. So you might be able to browse through all courses, and then see what you might be interested in, or if you, you know, looking for something specific related to supply chain management. Uh, so you can just search for supply chain be able to find a lot of things related to the supply chain management ones or um, logistics so on and so forth right so the you'll be able to find a lot of uh, courses that are currently running say for example this one is currently running from october 27 to december 2nd uh, some of them might be finished if those ones are finished then you'll be able to find the learning materials and the recordings you can just do it in your own you know, own pace um, and there might be something that are upcoming as well so you can register for those ones and then you will get a notification in email saying before you know that the course is about to start and you get an opportunity to do some certification exam as well at the end of these courses and those are free as well um, I think those ones are available specifically for the ones that are currently running so if you enroll in any of those ones at the end of each and every week there will be a test there will be a quiz or a test um, and at the end of the course, they will provide you with the certificate. If you passed, they will provide you with a certificate saying that you have passed this particular course. So it's a great place to learn, especially if you're starting out. And then we got SAP community. Um, here you'll be able to find a lot of training materials. Again, you know, webinars, blog posts, 
um and they will also post about upcoming events in your local town or in your local state or country you might be able to participate in a lot of them will be virtual events so you'll be able to just log into your computer and uh, you know listen to those kind of courses and stuff like that so and you'll be able to ask questions as well post questions and people will be able to answer your questions so this is a great place to learn uh, about different types of topics so for example if i search procurement as you can see there is tons of information available like questions who people have asked about procurement and if you specifically wanted to just see the topics related to procurement then go into the topic section and type in procurement and you'll be able to see you know, Ariba and field class which comes under procurement as well yeah logistics materials management sourcing and procurement as for hana and all of these things so if you go into any of these topics then you'll find you know the featured contents basically a blog or roadmap explorer and all this type of stuff related to this particular topic and you'll also find some uh, learning materials so these are the learning materials that are available for this particular topic for example central requisitions and central purchase uh most of them will be free but uh, if you need to pay for any of these courses then when you click on these ones they will let you know that you have to pay for these ones but i would say 95% of these courses that are listed here are, are free of charge and registering for these communities is free of charge as well so you don't have to pay for anything and then there is this help portal and again you can register for free to use the help portal you can find a lot of information or documents specifically for a particular product um like installation documents upgrade documents and stuff like that um or you'll be able to find learning journeys as well the thing that you want to remember about learning journeys is not everything is free some of them might be paid ones so where you have to pay or you need to have one of those paid subscriptions in learning hubs um say for example i search for procurement then as you can see there are a lot of learning journeys available for procurement um i click on reba procurement and it's saying whether you're a consultant or an administrator oh, let's just search for consultants related courses and as you can see there are lots of courses available for the consultants in reba um intelligent end to end process source to pay so say for example i click on this one so now we can see it says you need a learning hub um subscription and you need to have one of these subscriptions specifically um so the learning hub actually has different types of subscriptions as you can see on this slide here is professional edition business edition enhanced student edition and solution edition and these type of subscriptions cost you know different types of amount and it also depends on where you are located your country and stuff like that so and um, you know if you are working for a company which has already got sap then they might have one of these subscriptions so you may want to check with your um, with with people in your company to see whether you have already have subscription to any of these things if yes then you probably may be able to access these ones for free but uh, yeah so you can click on these ones and actually for registering for this ones is free for the learning hub is free uh once you register for free i think there's like a 14 day trial where you can see what are the courses available and you can register for the courses and stuff like that um and if you believe that it is actually a good place to learn more information and it's actually suitable for you then you can go into the uh, paid ones i would actually recommend you if you're seriously looking to learn sap in a proper way then uh, learning hub subscription can be really handy so i would definitely recommend you to get a subscription for learning hub if you can the last but not least sap training and adoption center or the certification center so this is the official sap's training and certification place so where you'll be able to find sap's courses and training uh, certifications that you can register for so if you are specifically looking for something under uh, supply chain management then you can go under the explore category or explore catalog catalog and supply chain management and it will actually list all the courses that are available under supply chain management so as you can see it's um, you know 
divided under different categories as well as I was showing you under the in the slides. So design, plan, procure, manufacture, sell, deliver, operate, and uh, project management. And it actually lists the different types of SAP products that are available under each and every category. So say for example, I'm interested in procurement. So I click on S4HANA procurement. And then it will actually shows what are the courses that are available under S4HANA procurement and what are those categories. So for example, beginner, or intermediate, advanced, and the certifications exams that are available for procurement as well. So the usual rec or general recommendation is to go from the beginning. So especially if you're a beginner, but uh, say for example, you have used or learned yourself from the uh, from the internet about sourcing and procurement, then you may want to just jump into the intermediate courses and see what's available for the intermediate level of uh, sourcing and procurement. So under here, you'll be able to find a lot of course information. So what are they actually going to teach you in this course? And what are the, what is the goal? This is the most important one. So what will you learn from this course? So learn about the fundamental elements of materials management, understand the usage of procurement processes for stock material and consumable materials and so on and so forth, right? And audience, so who SAP thinks would be best suitable for this course? So application consultant, so if you're going to be an application consultant in sourcing and procurement, a business process architect, a project management manager, or if you're just going to be a user who's going to use sourcing and procurement in SAP, then probably you may want to look at these courses. Prerequisites, as I mentioned before, um, you may actually do the beginner course before doing this one, or if you've got basic understanding of sourcing and procurement, then that's enough for you to enroll in this course. And what software is it? Is this course based on S4HANA 2020? If you don't know what S4HANA is, uh, I've actually made a couple of videos about S4HANA. So one in one video, I provided a lot of information about what S4HANA is. And I also made another video about frequently asked questions about S4HANA. I'll provide the video uh, link descriptions in the, in, the, in the video description. So check it out if you're interested. And going down, you can actually see what is this course, uh, what's, what are the dates, and then what is the location. Some, some courses are actually conducted you know, in person. And due to COVID, I think a lot of most of the courses are conducted virtually, so you'll be able to find them. I've actually chosen India because 99% of the questions I received are from India. But uh, if you're located in a different country, you'll be able to change them here. And then what is the price? Uh, now, a lot of people say that, you know, the SAP courses are expensive. They might be expensive, but um, actually they are really valuable. So, you know, they say that you get what you pay for. So <laughs> there are a lot of uh, people offering or a lot of companies offering cheap courses and cheap certifications. Or I shouldn't say cheap, but cost effective certifications online. Uh, if you want, you may register for those ones as well. You can consume those ones. It's up to you. But... Doing something from SAP, you know, it gives you a peace of mind that it is genuine and once you get the certifications, um, you know, it is valid wherever you go in the world. So that gives, gives you the peace of mind. Please note that this fees does not include the certifications. So this is just for the course. But if you want to do the certifications, you have to pay extra for that. So if I go into the certifications, so yeah, you, you can say how much it will cost. So for example, this is, this gives you six attempts. So you can actually do six certifications, different different types of certifications, or you can have six attempts for the same certificate, um, or it's just one online exam, one attempt that costs you about 17,000 rupees. Yeah. And then actually it will tell you what type of questions you will receive under which type of categories. So it'll actually give you an idea of what are the things that you should learn about before going for the certification exam. So what people usually do is they come to the certification exam, which they are planning to or intending to do. And then they go through these topic areas and, you know, it will give them an idea of what they should learn. And then they will go into the trainings to say, what you know, which trainings actually cover all these topic areas and then actually pick and choose those ones and do those uh, courses before doing the certification exam. That's the best way to pass these certification exams. So 
as I mentioned before, I've also got a blog, so I will upload this PPT in the blog. I will also add some links that I was showing, you know, the links to the uh, help portal, open SAP portal, SAP training and certifications and all of those things. So you'll be able to download it from my blog. I'll provide the link to the blog in the video description below. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment and I'll be able to answer them if I can. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in another video soon. Thank you. Bye.